Taiwan. It's my favorite country. I've been living and studying here for four years since 2016. I love how nice the people are in Taiwan. I love the food, culture, and everything in Taiwan. The population in Taiwan is approximately 23 million. Taiwan is a region only a few kilometers off the coast of mainland China and was expected to have the second highest number of coronavirus cases in 2019 due to its proximity. Today is the 16th of April, and Taiwan has just announced zero new cases for the second time this week. As you know that the four Asian tigers are the high growth economies of Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan. In Hong Kong, there are 1,024 cases, in Singapore, 5,992, in South Korea, 10,661, and Taiwan has only 398 cases so far. As we can see, the Taiwan has relatively lower cases than the other countries. In 2002, an outbreak of SARS began in China's Guangdong province of southern China. An epidemic of SARS affected 26 countries and resulted in more than 8,000 cases in 2003. Taiwan was able to put the lessons it learned during the SARS outbreak in 2003 to good use. The national health insurance system was introduced in Taiwan in 1995 and is characterized by good accessibility, comprehensive population coverage, short waiting times, and the national data collection system for planning and research. Before people said, ready, set, go, Taiwan was already preparing for it. So when people said go, Taiwan was running. The moment the country found out that the outbreak was emerging, they cut off flights immediately, not only from Wuhan, but also in and out of China. Also, Taiwan is one of only six countries on the earth where schools are still open. For example, in our university, students who just returned back to Taiwan must take self-quarantine for 14 days with online classes available. After 14 days, students still can come to school to have a regular class. In our university, visitors are prohibited from entering the campus. You must show your student ID card in order to enter the campus. In restaurants, department stores, schools, as well as cram schools, all of them provide hand sanitizer. And also, face masks must be worn on the Taipei Metro at all times. By the end of January 2020, the people in Taiwan were available to buy 1-3 to three medical masks per week, but now people can receive 9 masks every 2 weeks starting April 9. Technology is a key ally when fighting an outbreak. Taiwan's government has leveraged the National Health Insurance Database to create a smart system to warn citizens and keep an extra eye on the situation. Also, those who are quarantined at home were tracked through the mobile phones to ensure that they stay at home during the incubation period. <laughs> 